Greetings, coders. In this video, we are going to learn about the heap and how to allocate memory on the heap and access that memory. As we've talked about in prior videos, when a binary program is running, there are multiple areas of memory that are, that are allocated and used to, to run the program. Our local variables are stored in the stack and we have global variables that are stored down in the global section of the of memory. And then we've mentioned the heap, but haven't dug into it much. And in this video, this is where we're going to start digging into what the heap is and, and how we access it. For heap memory, we must manually allocate a variable that will be created on the heap, or we must to access the heap, we have to allocate memory onto the heap and then have a local variable that is pointing to that memory or another area of memory on the heap that's pointing to another area of the heap. So as we've talked about before, local variables that are declared inside of functions are stored on the stack. A program must create a pointer and then set it to the address of the newly allocated memory. This is typically how it's going to be accessed. We'll have a variable on the stack. We will set that pointer variable equal to an address, and that address will be an address on the heap. So let's look at what this looks like. We have still our global variables are stored in global. Our local pointer is on the stack. So it's located on the stack, except until now we had pointers that pointed to an address that was also on the stack. So it would go from pointer here would point at another address on the stack. But now what we're going to do is instead we're going to set that local pointers address equal to the output of the function malloc. And malloc is going to allocate four bytes on the stack, which is enough room for a single integer. And so on here, it's going to carve out an area that it's going to reserve for that, that those four bytes. And then whatever that address is, it assigns it the local pointer. And then we can use star local pointer to dereference that address and set it equal to a value. And so here we can set it to zero cool. And let's see what that looks like looking at the, the memory space. When the malloc runs, it creates a, an area on the heap at this address. It sets that value to our pointer variable. It uses a dereference to set this area in memory equal to 000C001. So in general, a variable cannot be directly assigned to the heap. The heap holds memory that's allocated using the malloc command, and that memory stays allocated until the program frees it or the program terminates. There is no concept of garbage collection in C like, like there is in Java. Some of the common functions that we'll use when working with the heap, malloc allocates memory on the heap and then returns an address that can point at that memory. Only pointers can be used to access the heap. Realloc that we'll discuss later can expand the current memory to be larger. So if we want to increase the size or the size that's allocated of a specific memory area, we can use realloc to reallocate that memory. And then free releases heap memory. If you malloc, you must free. Otherwise, you will eventually, especially if it's in a loop, you'll run out of space. And that's it for this video.